Uh, so I, early in the week, I like really started to just like not feel good. And then I had all these symptoms that were so clearly exacerbated by my anxiety about it. And finally I was like online and it was like, I found this really great article. I'm, I should probably send it to you guys. Like, it's just all about, look, it is still cold and flu season. So as much as people should definitely self-isolate, and that's really important to the extent that you can, if you like me have like a migraine and some sniffles, do not talk yourself into thinking you have the coronavirus because I literally thought I was going to die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do I sound stupid? Because I feel like I'm not the only one who's had this experience. Uh, I don't know. So far, I have not had that experience, but oops, I'm finding oh, the thing. Hold on. I'm so- <laughs> I've been waiting for that to do this. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I have not had that exact experience, but, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Now, how's it going in DC? Are people like freaking out? I mean, CPAC has all the conservatives having coronavirus. I haven't actually checked yes. the news to see if Trump literally has the coronavirus. Uh, they, they, everybody's freaking out here. There is nothing left in grocery stores. Everything's been canceled. Even the type of people where I was like, no way would they cancel their event or whatever? No, everything's canceled. The white house correspondence party that act TV attends every year canceled the progressive. I want to go to that shit. Why haven't I gone? (laughs) Well, you can come it's in DC. That's all. I, I will come down there for that. That sounds oh. really fun. Well, you know, the sad thing is, Juliana, it doesn't exist this year. <laughs> My fall, I finally got a chance to go and now it's fucking canceled. It's ridiculous it's though, right? I mean, the weird story of my life. A lot of things that I'm like, oh, I got invited to be like on the stage at comics, like uh, as a regular rotating comedian. That's wonderful. Oh, they closed. Oh, same thing. Really? Happened. Yeah, it's oh, the story of my life, I tell you. Anyway keep yeah. telling about dc are people well like, it's just everything so i think i think i speak for everyone when i say the weirdest part about it is like how long does this go on you know mm-hmm. how long well uh we were talking uh yesterday on the show we were listening to the epidemiologist who was on joe rogan's program and he said this is not we're not, you know the problem is we're looking at this like it's a blizzard it's coming and then it's gonna go but we right. should be looking at it like it's a whole season and that is you know uh problematic to say the least you know that that puts it into a whole different kind of perspective so i don't know how long these things are going to be canceled and i don't know how long we're going to go without toilet paper um oh alex i got a cold after being in milan jocelyn so i did freak out for a minute but i tested negative okay i'm glad i'm not the only one that makes me feel better i know well it's the freak out is spreading and um and i remember it's i i have noticed in my friends and colleagues that they are starting to decompensate which is the, not you Jocelyn, and not really oh. much the act tv but i mean like, i totally count though listen to my crazy <laughs> Can uh, you know, you? It, people are fearful and some people are fearful of the virus some people are fearful of the social unrest that's happening the civic, mm-hmm. civic unrest that's happening and i i think um being aware, we want to walk the line. This is the therapist in in me talking now, like you want to walk the line between being aware and being panicked because you're not going to make very good decisions for yourself and your family if you're panicked. So the problem comes in like, where do I get news that's actually news that's not fear mongering? And we're hoping to give you that here with uh, at least a little bit of of humor, et cetera, while we're, and, and, you know, crowdsourcing our news here um, and other places that you trust, you know, get the news without the fear and then you can make a better decision for yourself. I left our show yesterday, slightly panicked. <laughs> then I went up and listened to Tom Hartman. Didn't help. <laughs> um, really? Then I said to myself, self, what would you be doing right now? I was like, oh my God, I got to go hoard up some more growth. It just came up you know, the, the panic, and then you make decisions based on that flight, flight or flight, fight or flight notion, which we're not in right now. We're not in right. fight or flight, maybe later, but not right now. And so I was like, okay, well, what would I do if there was no coronavirus happening right now? Not like pretending it's not happening, but I had lost sight of like, what do I do in my day when it's not a pandemic? Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, well, I would go to the bank and I would uh, return that phone call and that's not related to the coronavirus. And then yeah. I would go pick up my daughter and I would walk all the way there and don't forget to bring the stroller, you know, like, so I kind of brought it down to like the normal next right thing that I had to do. And that 
just brought my brain right back to sanity. And then I was able to dip back in later and be like, okay, what's exactly happening? You know, it's not like the coronavirus is going to sweep through in half an hour and you need to know that a tsunami is coming. This is a, a, a quick but slow moving thing. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I totally agree. That's, I think that's, that is very wise. Like it is important for us to stay Zen and focused on our lives and just thinking of it less as like a panic response and more a paradigm shift. Like this is how, you know, we're going to live for this period of time. Mm -hmm. And hopefully it's a short period of time, but if not, that's okay too. You know, like you're saying, Juliana, like the next best thing, that's it. That's all we've got to do. Well, the next right thing, you never know what the next best thing is. Also, <laughs> some of the panicky things are, some of the panicky things are, um, uh, are the fact that now we're hearing that the banks uh, are, 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 are unstable given what's happening. And what does yes. that, is that, um, should I run back to the bank and get out another 20? You know, 